This video is brought to you by Squarespace. And no doubt the oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I dove a little too much. Aircraft come in all shapes and sizes, and so do their wings. Have you ever looked at an airplane and wondered why its wing was so long and slender? Or why another airplane had very short and stubby wings? Or the wing on that airliner you take everywhere? Yo, what's up, Kevin? Flight. Recently, Daniel from RC Test Flight came to California to work on a project in my shop. Damn, you got some sick planes in here. Bunch of ground effect vehicles, some high efficiency FPV stuff. Whoa, what is this super long skinny wing? This plane looks like it's on a diet. Is it vegan or something? Veganism may be a bad life choice, but long skinny wings are not a bad choice when it comes to airplanes. Let me tell you why. He insulted one of my aircraft and hurt its feelings, so I decided to take the opportunity to tell you why some planes have skinny wings, some have wide wings, and some are in between. I'll try to keep it very basic, but that shouldn't be too hard since my understanding is also quite basic. I just happen to have another plane in the shop that is the exact opposite of the one Daniel made fun of. Whoa, this is that plane from the last video. What are you gonna do with it? Throw it out. Oh, we gotta do something cool with it before you get rid of it. You can throw it off the mountain up there. Oh, that's a good idea. So we grabbed both planes and took a hike. We're uh, off to see the wizard. This turned out to be a great way to show you how differently aircraft with different wing shapes perform in the real world, in addition to the more dry technical description I will try to sneak in at some point in the video. America! America! <laughs> <laughs> Knowing you, the airfoil aerodynamic perfectionist, I can't believe this thing came out of your garage. It, uh, it violates all my standards in every way. Look at that, it sure, sure looks like an SR-71 in the shadow. So what is the key element being considered when a designer is deciding how long they should make the wing on their airplane? One aspect of every airplane's performance can be described by this simple graph. This graph tells us that at lower speeds, the main form of drag an aircraft experiences is induced drag, or drag due to lift. It also tells us that as speed increases, parasitic drag becomes the dominant form of drag. Parasitic drag is all the other kinds of drag lumped together, such as form drag, skin drag, and intersectional drag. There is also a nice happy place along those curves where at a certain speed, the total drag is the lowest. You can imagine the designers spend a lot of time designing the aircraft's normal operating speed to fit right in that happy place. That's epic. There's Kevin. <laughs> I actually used this airplane to help me tan. It really increases the UV index on my face. The span of a wing compared to its cord is called the aspect ratio. A high aspect ratio wing is long and slender, and a low aspect ratio wing is short and wide. The main way to reduce induced drag at lower speeds is to increase its aspect ratio. When taken to extremes, you get crazy planes like these. Now that I have explained the general consideration behind choosing an aircraft's aspect ratio, can you guess what this high aspect ratio wing is designed to do? If you said high efficiency at low speed, you are correct. Okay, mid-flight interview, how does it feel? Does it feel efficient? Oh yeah. It's just slippery. Like a dolphin. It's like a, it's like a three hour flight time on a 2S lithium ion. Unlike a dolphin. I don't think dolphins run on lithium ions. I could be wrong. When we got here, I said, how the hell are you gonna land that thing? And he said, oh, I'll just catch it. And I said, okay, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Cut the power, bleed some airspeed. Damn! You should join the Air Force. He's saying, oh, it's too tail heavy. Look at this. This is how picky this guy is about his airplanes. He's putting a single quarter in the nose. That's what makes it fly. I guess I'm just used to grotesquely balanced airplanes. <laughs> this large foam SR-71 could not be more different than the high aspect plane we have been looking at and demonstrates the opposite side of the design spectrum. It has some of the same flight yeah, characteristics as the real deal, which is no surprise as the overall shape is similar. Before we get into that though, I'd like to tell you about this video's sponsor, Squarespace. When Squarespace offered to sponsor this video, I wanted to see if their website creation and hosting services would be a good fit. Overall, I was very happy about the efficiency with which I could create a beautiful and effective website. Right now I need to get the message of my next company out to the world, with products coming later. Squarespace does that for me. But what would you need a website to do for you? With their easy-to-use templates and intuitive editing tools, even a complete novice like me can build a great website to get their message out to the world, create an online website to sell their products, use the included video studio to post original content, you name it. You can also set up your domain and web address through Squarespace. Squarespace has the easiest and the best tools for setting up a website no matter what your goals are. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. 
And when you're ready to launch, use this URL on the screen or the link in the description to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now back to the video. Aircraft with low aspect ratios are generally used to go fast, just like this foam version of the SR-71 heading down the hill is. Kevin's doing some last minute wiring. Gotta power that FPV camera off of something. Our motor's a little wiggly here. Hopefully that doesn't fall off. It was not built to the same standards as the original. What do you mean? This is dialed. Daniel was set on dive bombing the mountain, and though it isn't exactly the Mach 3 flight the SR-71 was made for, it was a decent stand-in. The low aspect ratio begins to make sense as you go faster due to parasitic drag. Remember the graph from earlier? Parasitic drag begins to increase as you go faster, and a lot of that is due to the frontal area and form drag of the aircraft. If it had long skinny wings, the frontal area and thus parasitic drag would increase greatly. Okay, I'm gonna switch to FPV now. What are your thoughts before going under the hood, Daniel? Oh, I love it. Can you build me one? No. <laughs> Damn! Woo Heading down the ridge line. Oh, he's going Whoa. for it again. Whoa. He's going for it again. Nose down and start diving. Oh my goodness, Woo Daniel. Woo Whoa. My video started cutting out there. You're the second. ballsiest pilot I know. <laughs> Okay, coming back up. Oh, sh I'm surprised that motor hasn't fallen off yet. No. This thing is epic. Woo, going oh. over the rocks. And nose down and dive. Woo, oh! Oh, <laughs> oh I dove a little too much. I'm glad I crashed at the top of the hill and not the bottom of the hill. Oh, oh there goes my phone. Nice, wow, it looks pretty good. All that duct tape really makes it strong. Yay, I don't owe Kevin a new GoPro. I might owe him a new battery though, it's way down there. Here's the battery way down here. It's a little dinged up. You got one, uh, uh, two sketchy looking cells. <laughs> Bottom of, what is that in the wingtip? Oh my God, <laughs> look at that. This, this plane cleans up, it collects trash. <laughs> Wow, we, we got some glass bottle shards in there. That's one benefit to having thick foam leading edges is you can collect glass when you run into bottles. After that, Daniel and I headed to the beach to see if I could slope soar the high aspect ratio flying wing on a little bluff. We got a good, no, I'd say 40 foot bluff here. So we're gonna try and get some ridge lift. There he goes again with the change, putting more money in it. We're getting close to a dollar now. If you look closely, you can see how much lower the angle of attack is with the high aspect ratio wing compared to the low aspect ratio wing that really has to keep the nose high at lower speeds. This is one visual indicator that the high aspect ratio wing is creating a lot less drag when flown slowly compared to the low aspect ratio aircraft. As far as aspect ratio is concerned, that is all I wanted to say about it in this video. Feel free to sit back and enjoy this nice montage set to some great music.
He's going for the backflip. Oh, no backflip. I just hooked that little one, the 10 scale, down there. I didn't believe it could even handle it. Because I would usually do the fifth scales off of it uh -huh. to handle it a little easier. Huh. That's it for today. Subscribe to RC Test Flight and Think Flight. Bye.